After a long wait, the much anticipated Razer Turret mouse and keyboard is finally here. The purpose of this keyboard and mouse is to provide a comfortable PC gaming experience while enjoying sitting your butt down on the couch instead of a dadgum computer chair. Is this the couch experience we have all been waiting for? Does this keyboard live up to the hype? Well, let's dive right in and find out. First thing is the setup. The setup was easy. I plugged the USB dongle into my computer, installed the drivers, and both devices were ready to go. And that was it. The quality. First, I will start with the keyboard. The build quality is solid. The keys feel great when they are pressed, and it feels nice and sturdy while in your lap. The mouse, however, feels significantly cheaper than the keyboard. It's lightweight, and I don't know, for some reason, it just feels cheaper. Um, gameplay. For this test, I decided to play some Battlefield 4. I wanted to test the accuracy of my aiming and the piloting of a vehicle. While I'm not the best at aiming, it felt just like how I play while sitting at the desk, only more comfortable. The mouse and keyboard were both very responsive, and I didn't notice any lag at all. Even though I said the mouse felt cheap, it still plays well. However, the one complaint I have is that the up and down on the arrow keys are way too narrow. It made piloting difficult, because I only use a keyboard when I fly, or sometimes an Xbox One controller, but since the up and down were too narrow, I just simply crashed by fat fingering. Battery life. I have had this on all day, and it still hasn't died. I don't see battery life as an issue since, you know, it is easy to just pop the turret into its charging base when you're done. That's not a real big concern for me, and, and like I said, it hasn't died yet. The likes and the dislikes for this thing. I'll start with the likes first. The way the keys feel went fantastic. Uh, it, it really feels great. Um, it doesn't, it's, it's not a mechanical, it doesn't have that mechanical feel to it. Uh, unfortunately, but it still feels good. The build quality of the keyboard is fantastic. I love it. it, it it's nice. It's sturdy. It's very solid. Um, I love the charging dock. I love just folding up the keyboard and the, the mouse pad, just, you know, folding it up, sliding it in the dock, put the mouse on the dock, and that's it. Another thing I like is that the mouse and keyboard are both very responsive in the game. I was, you know, there, 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 I didn't notice any lag at all, um, which is, you know, which is great. Number five, the best PC gaming on the couch experience I've ever, ever had. I've tried many times to get a rig up something that would allow me to game on the couch, but it was always uncomfortable and so much of a hassle to get things set up. Using the turret is all about convenience for me. I got approximately 40 feet of range from the dongle to the keyboard. I walked around throughout my house and there, was, there were a couple walls in between. The range, I think, is great. It came with a lot of plastic to peel off, and let me tell you, it was satisfying. I mean, isn't that one of the main reasons to buy new electronics anyways, is to peel the plastic off? I mean, yeah, come on. Uh, and last thing that I like is, it smells good. And yes, I am that weird. Some dislikes. The keyboard is not backlit. I mean, what the crap, Razer. You have lighting in everything, and you can't light up this keyboard and mouse. I know, you know, I thought about it and I was like, oh, well, it's to save on battery life. Well, screw that because, you know, you could add the feature and if you don't want the light to save battery life, just turn the light off. You know, not that big of a, you know, not that hard. But that's a big complaint for me because, um, you know, if, if I'm at a computer or if I'm at my desk and my keyboard's lit up, that's, I don't really need it then because, you know, sometimes the light from the monitor shines on my keyboard and I can still see my keys. But if I'm back all the way on the end of the, you know, across the room and on the couch, I may not have any light. That's where you kind of want a backlit keyboard. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Um, the mouse scroll wheel is not backlit. Nothing about the, the turret keyboard or turret mouse light up. Um, another thing is the turret mouse is basically the Razer Orochi. Um, whenever I plug this into my uh, Surface, it, it, when it installed, when it finished installing the drivers, it said that the Razer 2013 Urachi uh, was installed. Um, but whenever I put it into my desktop, uh, it said that the Razer Turret mouse was installed. So I don't really know what it's doing there, but whatever. The mouse pad extension should be a little wider and longer. It feels great. It feels sturdy, but I'm used to the Razer Invicta, which is a really large mouse pad, and I just I like knowing that I have room. I, I, I feel like I'm about to run off the edge of the mouse pad whenever I'm playing. 
Um, it's just going to have to take some getting used to, probably. I, I don't know. The mouse quality doesn't feel on par with the keyboard itself. I know I mentioned this earlier, but it, it I don't really understand what is different. Like it just it feels light and it just has this not premium feel to it. Another thing I mentioned that I don't like is the up and down arrow keys are too narrow. And I, I understand why they did that. If you look at it, you can see that, you know, it's to save space, you know, just it, it looks nice. But for gaming, I mean, come on, I, I, it, it needs to be it needs to be bigger. And this di last dislike is, I think, one of the worst. You cannot use your other Razer mice, or any other mice, on the mouse pad. Yeah, you heard right. You see, this raised edge along the bottom of the mouse, yeah, that's to help the mouse track on the mouse pad. If you were to use, uh, let's say, the Razer Mamba Chroma, or the Naga Epic Chroma, they will absolutely not work they're not effective it either doesn't register the movement or the movement skips around or and is extremely choppy uh, this is such a blow uh, it, it, it I mean the 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 razor turret mouse that it's it's small and it's meant to be for that small uh, mouse pad but you know what if I want to play uh, Final Fantasy 14 and I want to use my Naga Epic Chroma and, you know, have my thumb grid on the side and all that? Well, I cannot use it with this keyboard uh, mouse pad. I don't know why they used the material that they used. I don't know why they just didn't use their normal rough uh, mouse pad feel. I, I don't know. It, it boggles my mind. Um, but those were my dislikes. So... The question is, is this new addition to the Razer family worth the investment? Well, it depends. Do you long to get your butt out of a computer chair because you're tired of sitting in one at the office all day and then come home to just sit down in another desk chair? Or, you know, your spouse complains that you never sit on the couch with him or her, and then the answer is an absolute yes. Buy the turret and sit yourself down on the couch and game on, my friends. When your wife is all like, You never spend time with me. Come sit on the couch. Bam. You can do this simultaneously. She may not like it as much, but hey, you're compromising and that's something. That's it for now. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video around to those who are interested in new peripherals for their computer.